My name is Tim Brooks. I'm a third year emergency medicine resident at Palmetto Health in Columbia, South Carolina. The technology for placing central lines, I think, is all going towards ultrasound guided central line placement. Anything that can better patient care, like AxoTrack, uh, and reduce anxiety, um, facilitate the ease of central line placement uh, in patients, and actually give you more options than conventional ultrasound is what really interested me in using AxoTrack for central line placement. The ability to see the needle in real time, to anticipate where it's going before it actually gets there, the ability to anticipate flashback and also to be able to lock the needle down and stabilize your hand when proceeding with the rest of the procedure, all are features of AxoTrack that I think are superior to conventional central line placement. I did have a very interesting patient. He was about a 60-year-old gentleman with a history of laryngeal cancer with a stoma, chemo and radiation to the neck, and you just had uh, external scarring and fibrosis and sclerosis and uh, he had a left-sided port cath that was non-functional and so uh, really our only option for placing the central line was in the right subclavian. Uh, we looked with AxoTrack at his uh, vessels in his neck and um, anatomically they just weren't adequate and with AxoTrack we were able to place a right subclavian central line on the first time without a blind procedure being done. AxoTrack helped me address these challenges by being able to follow the needle tip real time. Securing the needle in place allows you to actually follow the guide wire through the needle so that you can see you're entering the vein effortlessly and safely, most importantly, be able to access a patient's central venous. With conventional ultrasound, you have to put the ultrasound probe down, finish the procedure with AxoTrack, you're able to visualize in real time the entire procedure from start to finish. Until you use it, you don't realize how easy and intuitive it is to stay away from important structures when placing central lines. And I think anything that can better patient care when doing an invasive procedure like this will only benefit the clinician and the patient in the long run.